Big Ten action here. But um, our team keeps getting better. We've got a long way to go, but it keeps getting better. And um, we've got one more practice tomorrow in helmets only, but the guys are really excited to get out there for the spring game and show what they've got. What are the biggest things maybe you've learned about this team or this program at this point in your tenure here it, through this camp? What are the biggest things you've learned from this camp? Uh, you know, our, our, some of our younger players are really starting to, to shine, and uh, uh, they're developing, and, and they're becoming some of our better players. Uh, really excited about that. Uh, some of our older players that have been here continue to push themselves and understand they need to keep getting better. So I think oh, just overall, we know our football team. You know, each each year is a new team. You know, each spring is a new team, and uh, this spring is a different team than last year. And uh, we know these guys a lot better right now. Uh, we know what their strengths and weaknesses are. Um, you know, the things that we still need to work on. We've got a new another new offensive system uh, that we've implemented. We got a bunch of new coaches that are still trying to you know, get acclimated, but I think they fit in pretty. Uh, Pretty good, pretty quick, and um, you know it's kind of where we're at. We know our, our team, know our, our coaches, and, and uh, we're starting to bring it all together still. Having had the changeover that you've had in the offensive coordinator situation, um, you've got something to compare it to. How far along are you, and how comfortable are you with where you are compared to the first two seasons? We're way ahead. Um, we're, we're a long ways away, but we're way ahead of where we've been the last two springs. Um, you know, we got more guys uh, out there uh, this spring than what we've had in the past. You know, all the, most, just about all the receivers that are out there running routes right now, none of them were here last spring. Um, you know, we had one quarterback, uh, scholarship quarterback, last spring. You know, that room is different. Uh, we got uh, more tight ends out there, so um, we're way ahead of what, what we've been in the past. Uh, you saw that uh, Wisconsin and Michigan, I think, had to cancel their spring games because of the weather. What are the benefits of being out there? Making a game like this possible, making the competition. What are the benefits of actually having a spring game? Uh, you know, probably the, the, the only benefit is you got people in the stands watching, and you see, you know, how players respond uh, to that. Um, you know, you know, I hope we get a bunch of people out here. And we get a chance to, to go perform in front of people, other than just coaches and some uh, occasional family members that show up at, at practice. That's really the biggest difference. I mean, we're going to approach this. This is a work day. We need to get better. And, um, you know, we're going to move the ball around and do some different situational work, but it's more about can you perform in the stadium, coaches on the sideline, and people actually watching. That's it. When you first came here, you talked about building depth. How has that depth come along this spring? And, and <laughs> every year you want to build depth. You know, you talk to every coach in America, especially in the spring, mm -hmm. and I doubt anybody says they have the depth that they want. Mm -hmm. And we are deeper at some spots through recruiting and player development. We're deeper mm -hmm. at several positions than uh, we've been in the past, but we still have some. Uh, Mostly O line D line. It's the biggest concern. Um, and again, uh, you talk to a lot of coaches around the country, and I probably say the same thing at those two positions. But that's our biggest concern. It's the depth in those two spots. Is that one of the toughest things in the Big Ten? At I think it's tougher. I don't care what league you're in. You yeah. know, I mean, I, Big Ten's a line of scrimmage league, but college football's a line of scrimmage league, NFL's a line of scrimmage. That's you know, if you got an O line D line, you got a chance to win. If you don't, you don't. And uh, you know, uh, I feel good about uh, the guys that we can put out there, starting five and offense and. Um, the uh, starting de defensive line right now, but it's a depth um, that we've got to work really, really hard between now and um, you know September uh, to develop it. A year ago, you came out of spring. I think you had four or five offensive linemen solidified. Um, where are you at? You know, as far as uh, naming starters on the offense. Yeah, we're, we're a long ways away. Um, Three Cole's been starting left tackle for a while. He'll be, he'll stay the starting left tackle. Kamal Seymour has been uh, out for uh, majority of spring from. Uh, postseason deal that we had to take care of, but he'll be fine. He'll be the starting right tackle. Uh, those two guys are, are solidified, the three inside guys. Uh, they're still up for grabs. Speaking of the offensive line, how's a guy like Micah Clark developed? Uh, Mike has done a good job. Mike has missed some uh, spring practice uh, this spring with the off the field things that he's got to take care of. Uh, but Mike has had a good off season until uh, then. Um, but uh, he's still got ways to go. Uh, he'll be in the mix uh, at, at one of the positions. But uh, um, he has been um, uh, missing some spring practice because of off the field things he's had to do. Where are you quarterback wise heading into the spring game? Who will we see the most? Uh, to see them all. I mean, not, nothing's different than what we've done every every day. Um, I think uh, you guys have been out there practice a little bit. We really have, uh, you know, four or five guys that are getting reps. As we have ones, twos, and threes. Um, Saturday will probably have three guys, four, three or four guys that get the majority of the reps. But um, we're going to rotate them all. They're going to all play. They'll all play a little bit with, you know, most of them will play with the ones uh, for a few snaps, and they'll play with the twos for a few snaps, too. And do you have an idea internally, at least, where you're going to be heading into to preseason? No, I, I've said that a million times. I know you're trying to get me to say something. <laughs> no, and, I just, uh, I, do you have it? No, I, I, like I told you, uh, 
Um, we, we've only gone through 15 practices. Yes. Uh, we've got a bunch of young guys at that position other than Geo. It's a new offensive system. To say that someone's mastered it to the point that they're going to go out there and lead the offense and follow it, we're not even close to that. Uh, have we grown and developed and, and uh, had some good days of practice? Absolutely. But to say uh, we're ready to name so that, that's not happening. What went into the decision to let uh, live tackle on Flacco last week? And will that continue? Uh, he wanted it. <laughs> that's it. it don't, it's no more complicated than that. He wanted it. So um, we'll see what he wants for the spring game. He'll come in and tell me. <laughs> you ever had a player like, I mean, not, not necessarily as a head coach, but in any coaching experience, have a quarterback demand to get hit? Oh, practice? yeah. It, yeah. It, it had guys that think they're tough enough to do that. You know? <laughs> and they, they, they say that. But the, the, I've had uh, I've been a, a part of teams where the quarterbacks have been live in certain scrimmages or certain quarterbacks have been live. I've seen quarterbacks go say, I want to be live, and they've got, no, no, we're good. You know? But uh, Flacco's a competitor, and uh, Flacco's tough, and he wants to be able to show, showcase his skill set and wanted the opportunity to go live, and so uh, we did. How did you go about the, the scoring system? Was that something that you had in mind? Was that something that patterned after someone else? Uh, you know, spring games are, are really set up a lot of different ways, and um, I just wanted to, to do something different. I honestly have never done it. Uh, I know a lot of people have, and uh, I've always <coughs> just kind of kept some notes on what other people do with spring games. And uh, when I decided that I wanted to do something different, um, I, I went through and looked at my notes and came up with it that way. But uh, a lot of people do that. What have you seen from Max Anthony? It seems like he's going to have that move position in the offense. It seems like there's going to be a lot of use for him this year, different spots. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, what kind of role Max has, you know, in our offense, that's uh, yet to be determined. Uh, you know, Max is an intelligent guy, you know, knows his assignments. He goes out here as a tough guy, you know, practices hard, um, plays the game uh, the way he wants to be played, he knows his job. Um, you know, we're, we're asking him to do a lot of different things, uh, one, because he can, and two, because of lack of depth. So we, we, he's been pretty versatile with the... Uh, you know, positions that he's played this spring. We talk about quarterback all the time, but, you know, are there any starting positions that have been uh, solidified this spring camp? That have been? Yeah, that have been, and if so, which ones? Uh, you know, what have we won, six games in the last uh, two years? <laughs> Let me say. There's not a lot of positions that have been solidified. Okay. You know, I, I'm not trying to, um, you know, uh, make light of your, your question, but that's that's really where we're at. We, we need... Uh, guys to compete to get better. We need guys to compete to take uh, someone else's job. Um, you know, the, the natural ones, like I already mentioned Tariq Cole. I mean, Tariq's probably going to be our starting off tackle, but that's probably not going to change. Um, you know, uh, some of the guys, you know, John Batty, he's going to be our starting you know, defensive tackle. You know, that's, that's not going to change. Um, you know, so there's some, some of those spots that just, uh, they've been around, they've been, played some really good football. They're, they're going to you know, be in those spots. But to say some of the spots that were up for grabs uh, have been solidified, no, they haven't yet.